actually, I think Tony's having a stag weekend. <laughs> because my dad wasn't here last night when I got home. And uh, he's still not here now. I also think, you know, I will still be at the forefront of his mind. I think maybe a call into the RAF to see if they'll do a flyby. Shoot in, shoot clay yeah, pigeon. A freak show. <laughs> <laughs> You've got that already. My idea. Okay. <laughs> a bouncy assault course. Yep. I can't believe how much we've got to spend still. With so much money left over, talk turns to the stag fund. I'll leave it down to you guys. What, what do you think? New York? New York would be awesome. But then you could go Eastern Europe. Sweden? Eastern Europe. Sweden? Blonde, busty girls. So whose stag do is this? Back at home, Tony's having second thoughts about splashing so much cash on himself. I'm overall in New York because I think it's a bit difficult to justify 900 quid for the three of us for a stag do when we're only putting 150 quid in for the hens. <laughs> not liking your, you're killing my mojo here, see? Um, no, no, I'm not justifying 900 pound out of the budget for our stag do. <laughs> I really don't. Just put the stag do on the back burner for the time being. Let's get the quotes on, on the things. On the <laughs> <laughs> right, where's the list of oh, the fun stuff? Me, that we want? All right, let's just do that. Me. Let's just do it quickly. Fun. Yeah, I'm thinking I've got to spend the rest of my life with Pippa, and if I've blown 900 quid, I'm feeling a bit stressed at the moment. Um, it's mostly because of uh, talk of the stag do in New York. Yeah, and actually, kind of this afternoon, just wanted to ask Phil and Archie to leave and just wanted to get on with it by myself. With just over a week to go to the wedding, Pippa's dad is taking Tony out for a quiet drink. Cheers. Cheers. What Tony doesn't know is that his stag party starts tonight and it's going to last for two whole days. Hello. Hello, stranger. Hey, Roy. Hello, Tony. You've got to drink up because we've got to go. Oh, my days. <laughs> <laughs> You You're coming too? I'm coming too. Great! You sneaky beggar! <laughs> Back at home, Pippa can only guess what he's up to. I think Tony's on a stag do tonight. Actually, I think Tony's having a stag weekend. <laughs> because my dad wasn't here last night when I got home. And uh, he's still not here now. Where are they? <laughs> A mouse lived in a windmill in old Amsterdam. A windmill with a mouse in, and he wasn't browsing. Usually drink, usually dance, usually bubble. I'm sure they're doing, doing something active rather than just drinking. <laughs> Paintballing, go karting. As long as someone's being sensible and looking after him. Like my dad. Hey, Brad. <laughs> it's my stag do, and I'm in Amsterdam, so I've got to get absolutely trashed. That's. They're the rules. I think my dad will look after him and make sure that the boys aren't doing stupid things. Should we get in the kinky top? This head of that. Sure. Look at that. Oh, yeah, man. You will pull out. We will fly. Oh, 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 oh. Together. Tell my best. Yeah. 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 Y
and straps. Well, and I would like you to remember what I want when you go looking for dresses rather than what you want. No, it would be a case of what looks best. And what I'm asking you is to think of my feelings when you're picking well, it. Well, I'm not going to pick something that you'd hate. Well, it doesn't matter because Tony gets over all so and I know he won't let you. Well, it's a silly conversation then, isn't it? You can't exactly refuse to wear it because then you're refusing to be a bridesmaid. And you're not going to do that to me, I know you're not. <laughs> you're so aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> because, I, because I know you're going to go out and pick a really sparkly, big, but that, strapless dress. I'm not. That's going to... Intentionally going to pick anything. Mm. If it was your wedding, I'd do as I was told. You're so aggressive. You're like the bride from hell. <laughs> Why am I? Because you are. Okay, just pick a dress that's plain with straps. Simple as that. That's cleared that up then. But it's not going to be easy for Tony to please three bridesmaids and stick to his colour scheme. Inspired by the wedding dress, he wasn't brave enough to buy. Colour scheme's burgundy. So, go find some burgundy dresses. Burgundy is like red, yeah? It's, it's burgundy, right? It's okay. Burgundy. Or are you going to stand here or are you going to go pick some dresses? I'm just, I'm scouring, that's all. I'm with you. Scouring or scowling? <laughs> scowling. Me and the bridesmaids have a pact together that we've arranged beforehand that if one of us says we don't like it, none of us will wear it. So he's taken on three of us, basically. Good luck to him, then. That's a horrible dress, but that colour. Why is it horrible? It's shiny. We don't want shiny. Do you hate that, too? Good, thank you. But it is plain and strappy. Just try it on. You might... You never know. When you put it on, you might go... Oh, actually, this is really nice. Right, I will try on the dress if we just get us moving. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's horrible. You hate it too, don't you? I actually, um... I think it looks alright. Yeah? It's, look. That's on the inside. That's, that's organza. Hmm. Suddenly, Tony's a fashion expert. Do you hate it too, Shailen? I wouldn't expect you to wear a dress that you hated. Yeah. So, that's fine. We really need to speed up the dress trying on, though. Because we've like, been here nearly half an hour, and that's one dress. I just don't, I just don't think you're going to find anything. Burgundy in we'll, April. We'll get burgundy. Not in the fashion shops, anyway. Not in the fashion shops, we'll no. We'll get burgundy. We'll get burgundy. For the sake of an easy life, Tony finally opts to get the dresses specially made in a style which suits all three bridesmaids. So then, gals? Which is um, which is your favourite, Roz? This one's my favourite. Vicky? Shailen? So are you all happy with that one then? I think so, yeah. But they are strapless. What will Pippa say? Are you happy though with it? I'm Tony? happy, I like it. And at £300, they're not cheap. That's 11 grand of his budget. Gone. It's the evening of Pippa's mystery hen night. Seriously, where are we going? Tony has organised for us all to go to the place where you had your first date. <laughs> it's not a weekend in Amsterdam though, is it? Still, it's a chance for Pippa to stop worrying and let her hair down. We thought you could be a good girl or a bad girl. <laughs> oh, look at me. <laughs> I'm dressed up in a pink flashy band, L plate and a veil with my name on it, with a tiara. I'm a princess. <laughs> My sister historically cannot handle her alcohol. And I am ready to be a bride. But it's not long before it turns messy. And it's left a big sis to get her home. 